607. It's Wednesday and uh, not uh, quite the day like yesterday in store for us. Not thoughts. quite, no. And you know, we've got a lot of technology here in the weather department. I bet you didn't know I had a time machine because no, we're didn't. going back to November. Oh, great. Yeah, how about Fun. that? Yeah. <laughs> have a look at this jet stream, Kyle. I mean, it's the 23rd of March and here we are looking at a jet stream that is just loaded with moisture and it's coming all the way from the subtropics. So it's going to be on the mild side, I guess, with a rising freezing level for day one. It really falls tomorrow, but it will be incredibly wet and windy as well. That one sort of just plows through the coast during the day today. It doesn't really taper off till tonight, but in other parts of the country, it's almost wintry here in early spring. Again, colder air is sagging down over the central prairies. Some of it becoming entrained in this low here, wrapping around over the central states. Remember, we talked about this one yesterday, and this is the system that's going to be bringing a winter storm all across eastern Canada over about the next 24 to 36 hours. So what's happening in Toronto today? You'll likely get some mixed rain and snow at times. It won't really be the, uh, the start of the storm yet. That comes later overnight as precipitation changes to freezing rain into the daylight hours tomorrow. A freezing rain warning in effect for Toronto. For Ottawa, you can see it's actually going to be clearing at times today. So too will Montreal, so too will Quebec City. But that's sort of the calm before the storm because it's expected to start snowing tonight, snowing heavier tomorrow, more than 10 centimeters in our nation's capital throughout the day tomorrow, 10 to 15 centimeters into Montreal. And it's a mix of snow, snow pellets, freezing rain into Quebec City during the day tomorrow. Look at the maritime provinces and actually out to Atlantic Canada. Heavy snow right now in St. John's, Newfoundland, some snow squalls. It's been snowing in Halifax, snowing across parts of PEI. That tapers off temporarily and then it returns again during the day tomorrow in the form of rain for Halifax, but again, heavier snow likely in the mix over parts of New Brunswick and over PEI during the day tomorrow. So you're sort of getting it from both sides over the next day and a half. Our central prairie forecast definitely improving. The colder air sags into place, plus one in Winnipeg with some sun, two degrees in Regina, up near 10 for a high today in Calgary, but remaining on the cool side in Edmonton. And here on the coast, well, we'll say 11 degrees, but it's for all the wrong reasons. Windy and wet today, a big frontal system draped over the coastline. It's pretty much a full day's worth of rain. Tomorrow, part showers, part sunny breaks, but it's cool and windy. The better weather comes this long weekend with sun for good Friday. Now, Saturday clouds over. It's Saturday night and Sunday rain. So your Easter Sunday, that's the wet one out of the three or four for this long weekend because the holiday Monday, if you get it, it's a beautiful day, 13 degrees and sunnier. Thor, is that rain having any impact on the drive so far? Not